Well, ladies and gentlemen, you ever heard that saying how like music now is harder to write because all songs have been written, you know, everything has been done, so it's harder. Um, well, you know, it's really that way with painting too. You know, drawing, painting. Try to do something edgy these days or something shocking. It's all been done, right? And I was just thinking how crazy it is now, like compared to what it was before. Um, like in the 1930s, right? For Pablo Picasso to look edgy, all he literally had to do was paint a picture of a woman that was sort of half face and half cock. See, you can see right there in the picture, that's basically just a half face, half cock picture. Um, and that was in the 1930s, and that was super edgy. No one at that time was drawing women that were half their face with a cock. That was pretty edgy. But now, I try doing that now, it's like, whatever, right? It's basically nothing. So it got me thinking of like what it was way, way back in the day, because that was 1930s. What about like the 1500s, or, you know, when Leonardo da Vinci was around? Um, like people don't really understand why the Mona Lisa is such a famous painting. It's because back then she was the biggest whore that existed because she was slightly smiling in the picture. People don't understand that. Slightly smiling in the picture, she had a little bit of a frown. That was super edgy back then. If you're a girl, you were not allowed to smile. That, you were basically considered a whore. You were like a town whore. If you walked around with a slight smile on your face, you basically, wow. I mean, that was insane. And you're definitely not going to paint that, you know, because that's basically hardcore porn back then. A girl slightly smiling in a painting would be considered like the most insane pornography, you know. And I know that sounds weird, but it's just the way it is with the times, you know. Um... I mean, so you think, okay, so Leonardo da Vinci painted the Mona Lisa and you think, big deal. I get it, he was edgy and he painted a girl being super slutty and smiling in a picture. You think that wasn't a big deal? First of all, imagine trying to find a woman willing to do that. That's the thing that people really don't understand, right? Because the thing is, Sure, you can try to be edgy and paint a picture of a girl slightly smiling, but like, who's gonna do it? Literally, who's gonna do it? You know? I mean, I from what I heard, he kind of put the word on in the street that he was looking for kind of like a slutty girl that would do that, but um, but nobody wanted to do it. I mean, why would you want to do that? Until eventually he found a girl that was, you know, luckily enough of a slut to just completely degrade herself in the picture by smiling, slightly smiling. That was considered incredibly degrading back then. And, um, but even then, even after she found that girl, she started getting second thoughts because she thought to herself, what would my family think? You know, they see this painting of me slightly smiling, they're going to call me a whore. So she started getting second doubts. And um, yeah, that's like, I mean, that's insane. But here's the thing. During the picture, she was kind of having second doubts. So she wasn't really smiling. She was really trying to hold a straight face. And unfortunately, Leonardo da Vinci had to really sort of like bring her down or not you call her a whore come on you whore smile you dirty whore smile yeah you can do it and then she eventually just kind of gave in and slightly smiled it was it's kind of questionable like his approach to do that but you have to understand those were different times they were they were very animalistic back then um yeah no it's, it was pretty crazy pretty pretty crazy but i mean as far as now what's the shock value now Try to paint an edgy picture. Just go ahead, try to paint something edgy. You know, people have seen everything, you know? Uh, I recently saw a painting of a man shitting into another man's mouth. And I thought to myself, boring. There's no shock value in any of this stuff anymore. Just log on to the internet, you can see everything, right? Um, so I kind of started thinking like, what 
what would be an edgy painting in today's culture? You know, because we've seen it all. And I was thinking it'd probably be something to do with like um, social justice kind of stuff, you know, like uh, to cause an outrage on Twitter. So I was thinking a pretty cool painting to really, for shock value, would be like, um, like a painting of a husband and wife writing a check to like a really fancy Ivy League school just to get their son into the program, that would be a sick painting. If you posted that painting on Twitter, imagine just the outrage. Disgusting. That's filthy. Whoring yourself out with your money just to get your son into this stupid program. That's, that's a fucked up painting right there. No, like that's basically as edgy as you can get. The only thing edgier would be like painting a picture of a his and her bathroom and then standing in a hallway as some sort of trans gender male or female or some genderless person and they look bewildered because they don't know which bathroom to walk into. That's a fucked up painting. Post that on Twitter. See what kind of reaction you get. That's shocking. The poor person has no idea which bathroom to enter in. He's thinking, maybe none of them are for me. Why not? And that's fucked up. That's edgy. Uh, I'm not saying it's funny, but it's definitely edgy. Paint that picture and put it on Twitter. See the outrage. It'll be worse than when uh, Leonardo da Vinci painted the, the smiling whore. It's going to be worse than when uh, Picasso had the woman that was half face, half cock. It's going to be a whole different level of outrage. And uh, yeah, but I'm saying like if you're an artist now, you got to push the envelope. Do something like that because it's all been done, you know? So you got to create new ways to create shock and uh, conversation. But it's something to think about, right? Was this a review? I, I don't even know what this was, but I did it. So until the next video, take care, guys. Bye.